to my channel. Today I'm coming at you with no makeup on, which only means one thing. I am going to be doing another testing products video again on my channel, which is always really well requested by you guys, so I'm doing another one today. Today's video is going to be slightly different. I'm going to be doing more of a half and half and comparing the products to high-end products so you can kind of see the difference. Um, if that makes any sense. So today I'm going to be comparing Poundland products to high-end products. So I have everything on my bed beside me here and I'm just going to go through a full face of makeup doing half of my face with high-end products and half of my face with the one pound products. So without further ado, let's just get started and put some makeup on my face and see what happens. So the foundation which I picked up in Poundland is this one here. This is their gorgeous, flawless long-lasting foundation with UV protection and it's by the brand Makeup Gallery which is Pound Glands brand. So I'm going to be trying this. This is in the lighter shade Ivory even though it does look a bit dark. And then on my high-end side I'm going to be using the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Foundation. Let's go and get started. I always forget to dampen my beauty blender before I film. Always forget. So I'm just going to do my high-end side first because it's more about reviewing the Poundland side. So I'm going to get this over and done with first. Okay, first impressions on the colour, here we go. Oh, it comes out looking really moussey. It's like not liquid, it's like lumpy. Oh, it's really thick. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. My chin is like when I dab the beauty blender, it's taking away the product, it's not actually blending it in. It's like not sticking to my skin. Oh my gosh. Do you see that? Like there was foundation here 10 seconds ago and then I went to blend it down my chin and it took away the product. What on earth? Okay, I'm actually just gonna move on because no, like this foundation, no. So now for concealer, I couldn't find any cream concealers in Poundland. So the only one which I was able to get was this one here, which is the Hide and Shine Concealer with Natural Coverage in the shade number one Ivory. And then I don't actually own any stick concealers. So I'm going to be using the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer. I know they're really different, but I'm not going to use too much of this one because I know that just the coverage is different with these types of concealers. So it was the best I could do. So we're going to do these two now. So first up with the MAC side. Okay, and now for the Poundland side with this concealer, even though these concealers aren't really meant for underneath your eyes, we're just gonna have to make it work for today because it's all we got. Ooh, actually it goes on quite smoothly. So it's not too bad, it might work on my eyes quite well. Okay, so it's definitely not as disappointing as the foundation was. It's actually done an okay job. It's very smooth but also kind of oily at the same time, which I don't mind because I've got dry skin, but if you had oily skin it might not work so well for you because it's a bit kind of greasy. I mean I maybe wouldn't use it again but it's better than I thought it was going to be. So the powder which I got from Poundland is the Smoothly Does It Pressed Powder and I don't own a high-end pressed powder so I'm just going to have to use my classic Laura Mercier powder. Um, they kind of just do the same job anyway, just they're different kind of forms of powder so we'll see how these turn out. First thing that I do have to mention is you do get a lot of product with this, which is a good thing. Okay, so I have just done my powder. The powder from Poundland actually wasn't too bad. It hasn't changed the colour of my foundation, which some powders that are a little bit cheaper do. So overall, now that we've done kind of the base of my face, I'm going to compare both sides. You can definitely tell that the foundation on this side is a lot better because it's high end and it's covered things a lot better. But after doing my concealer and my powder on this side, I've definitely made up for the dodgy foundation. Because the powder was super mattifying and I've got quite dry skin, 
I can kind of see on this side of my face that my skin looks a lot drier. But maybe if you had oily skin, you wouldn't get the same sort of thing. Um, I just feel like the powder has brought out the dryness of my skin quite badly. Okay, so moving on to bronzer and blusher. I'm going to start off with my bronzer. So the product from Poundland looks like this. It is the Good To Glow bronzer. And then the bronzer from my high-end side is going to be the Hoola bronzer by Benefit. And then for Poundland side, again, you get a lot of product. So we'll see if this is any good. Now that I've started putting product on top of my foundation, it's making my skin look quite bad now. I think it's just because we didn't start off with a great base, so now the bronzer just doesn't look that good on my skin at all. It has definitely warmed up my skin, I guess, but no, I'm not really that impressed with how it's turned out compared to the high-end side. It just looks a lot more patchier on the Poundland side. Moving on to blusher, I have the Feeling Blush Bronzer by Poundland. And then for my high-end side, I have this set by Benefit. And I think I'm gonna use this one up here because this looks like the best match. For the blushers, once they were on my skin, they definitely don't match that well. So I wouldn't head out to Poundland and buy this as a dupe for the Rocketure blusher by Benefit. But as a blusher on its own, I like the colour. I like how it's all matte. Okay, so for highlights, it was really, really sad, but Poundland didn't do a highlight. So instead, I'm going to be using something which I will be using on my eyes in a minute. So I picked up this, which is an eyeshadow stick. So I'm going to be using this as like a cream highlight and see what happens. And then for my high-end side, I'm going to be using this cream highlight by Topshop, which is not really high-end, but it is quite expensive. So I'm going to be using these two today. Too badly and it has given me quite a nice glow. Okay so now for my eyebrows I feel like this is just going to be the point where everything looks different from now on. So high inside we're going to be using Classic Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade and then on my Poundland side we're going to be using the All About The Brow Brow Kit. Let's see what happens. They're definitely not the same colour, but, not gonna lie, I struggled with my high-end side for some reason. I don't know why, it was just like a bad day. So, not gonna lie, I actually kind of prefer the Poundland side. I mean, the colour isn't really ideal, like I don't really like it. Um, the browns were really, really warm. But the actual product, like the formula and stuff, is actually not too bad. So moving on to our eyes, I'm going to be using the stick which we used originally for our highlight on our eyes as a base and then I'm going to be using the Bourjois, um, what is this, the Bourjois eyeshadow stick. So for the eyeshadow base, I actually really, really like it. It was really nice and easy to blend out. It was really soft on my eye. I didn't feel like I was tugging when I was like trying to blend it. As for the pigmentation, I definitely feel like this eye is a lot brighter, the high-end side, than the Poundland side, but the difference isn't too much. So now carrying on with the eyeshadow, Poundland didn't actually have any powder eyeshadows that I could see, so it was basically all like those cream stick things. So I picked up another one in this dark brown shade, and I'm going to be using on my high-end side this one here which is by Body Shop, and this is their eye colour stick in the shade Bronze.
these two products compare so so well both of them gave a very natural um, like bronzeness to my eye is bronzeness a word I don't know but like I don't have a really dark crease obviously as you guys can see but both products are really similar in the way they blend it out and yeah I'm actually really happy. Okay, so moving on to eyeliner, I'm going to be using this one here by Poundland, or Makeup Gallery as their brand is, and this is their Pro Liquid Eyeliner. And then for my high-end side, I'm going to be using the Kat Von D, I can't hold it, the Kat Von D Tattoo Eyeliner. So, let's go. Ooh, it's like a really small tip. I quite like that, but it doesn't look that sharp. The end of the eyeliner, like the pen part or the brush part, was not the sharpest. So if you guys can see here, like when I got to doing my wing, it was really, really difficult to get a sharp flick. It's given a really nice black opaque colour. It's not patchy. So I'm actually quite impressed. I think the real test with eyeliner is how long it lasts on your eye. And like if you accidentally rub your eye, seeing how much comes off, that kind of thing. But in terms of application, like formula, it's actually not too bad. If the brush was just better, you could probably just take another one of your brushes, which you already own in your collection, and use that with that eyeliner. That might be a good idea. Okay, so now moving on to pencil eyeliner. I have this one here by Poundland, which is the Call Me eyeliner. And then I've got this one here by Ciate, which is their Wonderland eyeliner. This one by Ciate is one of my favorite eyeliners. So the Poundland one has a lot to live up to. So with the pencil eyeliners, again, maybe eyeliners are just really good at Poundland, but the Poundland one didn't do too badly. So for a pound, I'm very happy. So now to finish off my eyes, I obviously have to do mascara. So I have this one here by Ciate, and then I have the Poundland one, which is called the Pump Up the Volume Mascara. Okay, so for mascara, definitely not as good as this one here. It does not volumize your eyelashes at all, and considering it's called Pump Up The Volume, definitely does not do anything of the sort. The only one thing which I was really, really surprised about was when I used this on my bottom eyelashes. For some reason, it ended up working really, really well. If you want to buy it as like a bottom lash mascara, then go ahead but not for your top lashes, definitely not. Another quick thing which I quickly want to do before I finish off with lips, I picked up this by Poundland. It is a gold glitter eyeliner. I don't have a high-end version of a gold glitter liner, so I can't really use it to compare, but I am just going to quickly like put it on the inner corner of my eye. So if this is not too bad, then I would definitely recommend getting it because as I said, I don't have a high-end version of this because it's not something which I use and feel like I should be spending loads of money on. So I'm just going to quickly use this and see what happens. That actually turned out quite well. If you guys want me to use this in like a tutorial, then let me know and I'll tell you guys how it properly works. But first impressions, just by doing like an inner corner highlight with it, it's worked quite well and it wasn't as like sheer as I thought it was going to be. So now to finish off with the lips, I was a little bit stupid and I picked up this thing here, which is a lip gloss by Poundland, but I thought it was liquid lipstick. So I thought it would be really cool to do like a liquid lipstick. So even though it might make more sense for me to use the coloured one, I'm actually going to be using the sparkly clear one because I have like a literal exact match in a high-end version, which is the MAC Luster Glass in Luster White. And the reason why I want to use these two is because this guy here is like £20, so if this is so, so similar, then this is going to make your lives so much easier. So I'm going to be comparing these because, as I said, it would be an amazing dupe if this one worked well.
for the color and how it looks on my lips they look so so similar but the one thing which I do have to say about the Poundland version is that it's quite thick and it's quite dragging on your lips so if you were to put it over the top of a lipstick I feel like it might end up rubbing away that lipstick if that makes any sense. Definitely if you were looking to invest in the MAC one then pick up this one in the meantime and use this one until you feel like you really need to buy the expensive one. So guys this is me finished my full face of makeup using half high end and half pound land. I really hope you enjoyed this video and found it interesting to watch. Let me know if you have any comments or suggestions or anything. Leave them down in the comments section if you'd like to chat to me. Thank you so so much for watching. Please give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed and don't forget to subscribe down there and I will see you soon in my next video. Bye guys! Get down.